I'm Alessio from Realme Camera Development Team, and I'm really happy to be here today to tell you something exciting about the latest camera innovations of Realme. Photos and videos have replaced text in the way the young generations express themselves. And as a trend-setting technology brand, Realme has always been committed to providing the latest camera experience to our users. We believe that a leap-forward camera is a critical part of a leap-forward technology. Looking back at the three years from our establishment up to now, Realme has achieved several breakthroughs in the camera department. We held our first camera innovation event in August 2019, and that's when we presented the world's first 64 megapixel smartphone, Realme XT. That also marked the beginning of our quad camera era, and Realme has shortly become the smartphone brand with the highest availability of quad camera smartphones. Afterwards, we introduced another breakthrough in the camera department, our starry mode, which made it possible for the users to capture the beautiful starry sky by using the smartphones. In addition to our starry mode, UAS video stabilization, ultra nightscape video, and pro nightscape have always allowed us to further explore the creative applications of imaging, making Realme smartphones the best tool for the users to record their lives and express themselves with excellent quality photos and videos. Realme continues to advance in camera innovation, and that's why today I'm actually here to present some excellent new features on both a hardware and software level. These features will make their debut on Realme 8 series very soon. Yet, because of the pandemic, it's actually hard for you to go out and try the latest camera innovations for yourself. But don't worry. We have planned a real-life experience to take you outside the office and test the camera performance in the real world. But before that, let me introduce you the all-new 108-megapixel primary camera of Realme 8 Pro. The camera adopts the latest generation of Samsung's 108-megapixel sensor HM2, featuring 12,000 by 9,000 pixels and a larger sensor size of 1.52 inches. The larger single pixel size ensures better image quality. Also, the increase in pixels allows for the HM2 sensor to activate the 91 pixel binning technology, combining nine smaller pixels into a larger one for better image quality in low light. The HM2 sensor is also equipped with Samsung's advanced ISOCELL Plus pixel isolation technology. You may be familiar with the ISOCELL technology, which addresses the problem of crosstalk between neighboring pixels by applying a physical barrier which addresses such interference, as well as allows for more light to be gathered by the micro lens and absorbed by the photodiode. The ISOCELL Plus technology is more advanced and replaces such metal barrier with a new innovative material by Fujifilm, which minimizes optical loss and light reflection. The result are higher color fidelity colors, as well as a 15% enhancement in light sensitivity. Next is a smart ISO. Smart ISO makes it easier than ever for the HM2 sensor to automatically select the most suitable ISO setting for optimizing picture quality and reducing noise at the same time. The HM2 sensor will automatically shoot with a higher ISO setting for brighter, clearer images in dim lit conditions without introducing too much noise. In brighter lighting conditions, the sensor will shoot in low ISO setting, keeping high fidelity, color accurate images. Let's now take a look at a 108 megapixel photo taken with Realme A Pro. The overall exposure is well balanced with vivid colors and sharp details in both the bright and dark areas and the details stay sharp even when zooming in. Now, to give you a better understanding of the 108 megapixel high definition, we took the Realme April to London. Let's now welcome Realme Camera Experience Manager, Paul, to show us how great the 108 megapixel camera is.
Hi, my name is Paul and I'll be your experienced guide to the new Realme 8 Pro, broadcast from Tower Bridge in London. Thanks to the camera module's 108 megapixel sensor, it provides uncompromised image quality and remarkably high clarity. First, let me demonstrate the 108 megapixel mode for you. In 108 megapixel mode, the sensor will directly output a photo with a resolution of up to 12,000 by 9,000. This mode is especially suitable for shooting scenes with rich details under good lighting conditions, such as the shard right in front of me. Now, I'll start testing this powerful camera by comparing two pictures in the same scene, taken in two different modes. For the first one, I'm doing it in normal mode. For the second one, I'm turning to the 108 megapixels. Then you can zoom in to see the details. Compared to normal mode, the surface texture of the buildings are much more clear. Even if you crop a 108 megapixel photo, you can still have a great photo with very high clarity. Another surprise that the Realme 8 Pro provides is its cutting edge employment of in-zoom technology. We'll show you about this function in our lab. Welcome back. Besides the 108 megapixel camera and HM2 sensor, we also provide lots of advanced optimizations and exciting features. After adopting the 64 megapixel high resolution camera, we found that our users tend to crop and zoom the images more because of the higher resolution. So we ask ourselves, how can we increase the image clarity to a whole new level? We were able to achieve such result in Realme A Pro thanks to our new in-sensor zoom technology. As you know, when you shoot a 3x photo with your phone, your phone performs a digital zoom on the original picture. That means directly cropping the original picture. Realme A Pro, when you select the 3x mode, the in-sensor zoom technology seamlessly activates. As the name implies, the sensor only uses the 12 megapixels which are paired with the zoom part to generate an image. How does this image differ from a standard 3x zoom photo, you may wonder. The 12 megapixel photo has a smaller size. That means that the imaging process is faster. And Realme A Pro has time to take eight 12 megapixel pictures and input all of them in our clarity enhancement algorithm for a higher clarity image. After such processing, a picture taken with Realme A Pro is actually better than some optical telephoto lenses in terms of sharpness. And now I'd like to demonstrate the power of the in-sensor zoom technology. In order to show you the performance of the in-sensor zoom technology, we brought a photography testing system from your lab to our studio. The part in the middle allows us to show the comparison between different cameras, whereas the lighting ensures to have enough light to take the pictures. I will now be taking a picture with the 108 megapixel mode of your Mi A Pro. Let me remind you that this mode does not activate the in-sensor zoom technology. I will now be switching to a 3x mode on Realme A Pro, which does activate the in-sensor zoom technology. And I will take a picture again. Let's now compare the two different pictures, the one taken with the 108 megapixel camera and the in-sensor zoom technology not active, and the one taken with the 3x mode, which does activate the in-sensor zoom technology. As you can see, starting with the pixel taken with the 108 megapixel camera mode, the cards on the bridge on the banknote are not as sharp as they are in the picture taken with a 3x zoom mode, 3x zoom mode which does activate the in-sensor zoom technology. I will now be switching to the Realme X50 Pro. Let me remind you that Realme X50 Pro does not have the in-sensor zoom technology, but does have a telescope lensor of 2x. I already set the zoom mode to 3x, and again, it's not going to be activate the in-sensor zoom technology. By taking a picture and comparing it with the one taken with the Realme A Pro, which does have the in-sensor zoom technology, we can actually compare the two different pictures and you will still find that the resolution in terms of sharpness of the picture taken with the in-sensor zoom technology on Realme A Pro is actually better than the one taken on Realme 
X50 Pro with a telescope sensor. That's the power of the in-sensor zoom technology. Now let's go back to the stage. Now let's take a look at something even further, the stars. In Realme X53 Super Zoom, we brought the world's first starry mode, which photography enthusiasts all over the world have well praised. Today, I'm proud to announce the second generation of the starry mode, or Realme 8 series. When shooting static starry photos, we optimize the imaging process by separating the step of burrowing the stars from the algorithm, leaving it to the ISP in the SOC to get a better burning effect and noise reduction. Also, when we ask our users about our starry mode, they share that they wanted to be able to record the starry sky not only with photos, but also with videos. And that's why, by listening to our users' feedback, that today we bring you the world's first time-lapse video. Let's enjoy a demo. Starry time-lapse videos are usually realized by shooting multiple clips with professional cameras and then synthesizing and combining these, these clips with a video editing software on a PC. Suppose you want to shoot a starry time-lapse video with your smartphone, you'll be facing a serious challenge when it comes to the needed power to perform such a synthesis. For this reason, we developed our exclusive time-lapse video algorithm based on starry photos. To take a tremendous starry picture, Realme A series takes four minutes to take 15 pictures every 16 seconds and then combines these 15 pictures into one final starry photo. When taking a starry timeless video, in order to reduce the stress on ROM and RAM, your phone will keep taking starry photos with the same 16 second interval. But then we only use the last 15 photos to create one single frame and then combine all these single frames together to generate a video time-lapse F30 FPS. Et voila, your sorry timeless video is born. Let's do the math. The phone will take 480 seconds to shoot 30 photos to generate one second timeless video. That means that the time-lapse mode can actually show the perpetual changing of the universe at a 420 times faster speed. Let's now ask Paul to show us all the stunning pictures made possible thanks to our unique starry mode. Imagine yourself traveling in long distances into the wild, standing on stretches of land illuminated by the starry sky. Tranquility is the best that nature has to offer and you're part of the sublimity. I'm now going to access the starry mode by firstly opening the camera, selecting more, and then tapping the starry function. The new starry mode preserves the most details of the starry nights with the highest purity in the image. In addition to the single shots, I'm going to show you how to use the Realme 8 Pro's starry mode, which creates a starry time lapse. It's very time consuming, but I'm sure you'll be amazed with the final product. Before shooting, we also need to choose the new starry mode and set up the phone properly. I'm now having the final video on my phone. Let's take a look. This is unbelievable. I can see the movement of every single star clearly and the image is smooth. Free from noise, I've never expected any smartphone to undertake such a heavy duty job. This is simply impressive. Starry mode has certain requirements for the environment. We recommend that you go to a place far from the city without light pollution to shoot. Before taking a starry photo, please make sure that you can see the stars with the naked eye. Also, don't forget to check the weather and phases of the moon before shooting. A clear night with no clouds and a new moon is the best time to shoot. And because of the long shooting time, be sure to use a tripod for shooting. Starry mode requires a lot of patience, but the results are absolutely stunning. Let's enjoy some of the Realme 8 series star time-lapse videos below.
isn't it cool? And the next feature is even cooler. Let's take a look at tilt shift photography. You're likely to have seen such pictures that show the world like a miniature version of itself, some sort of miniature landscape. These are typical examples of tilt shift photography, which is made possible by playing some sort of visual illusion on the human eye. When we stare at an object close to us, usually the background and the foreground are both blurred. And then if we add a subtle bokeh effect, our brain will think that we are looking at a miniature landscape that's very close to us. Usually this book effect is achieved with expensive tilt shift photography cameras. They are able to focus only on one part of the image while blurring all the rest. Yet, thanks to our tilt shift photography algorithm, your Mi 8 series is capable of shooting such miniature landscape pictures as well. We also provide some adjustment options in the tilt shift mode, including the shape, angle, position, and side of the book effect, as well as the transition effect between the blurred part of the image and the one that is actually in focus. So the users can actually conveniently choose the, and customize the book effect according to the scene they're shooting. Behind this uh, real-time book effect is actually a series of fast response book algorithm which create and calculate the blur effect for every pixel and then apply to the original picture. And this process takes only 10 milliseconds. What's even more interesting is that our tilt shift mode also supports 10 times fast video playback for shooting time-lapse video, presenting the world in a very unique way. And this is the world's first tilt shift time-lapse video. Let's now go back to Paul and see how he takes some stunning miniature world-like pictures of London. Let's continue our journey and explore the tilt shift function on the Realme 8 Pro. I'm going to show you a miniature version of Canary Wall, the busy financial district in London surrounded by skyscrapers. Are you ready? I'm here at the vantage point of the area. We can see roads, buildings, walking people and moving vehicles from here. For the first step, let me choose the tilt shift photography mode. In the operating interface, you can adjust many parameters to change the shape, positions and angles as well as the intensity of the bouquet effect. As you can see here, the adjustment is smooth and the changing of the effect is immediate. Now I'm turning off the tilt shift photography function at precisely the same location. Can you see that? The tilt shift photograph indeed makes us see the world differently. Isn't it amazing that you can look at the world in a different way simply with your smartphone? Let's take a look at some more examples. Tilt shift photography technology is also integrated into the Realme 8 Pro's video camera. Choose tilt shift photography mode and adjust some of the parameters, then start shooting the video. The way to operate this is basically the same as tilt shift photography, only in a video. Your miniature world is actually on the move. Here are some small tips. If you want to achieve a better miniature landscape effect, we recommend that you try and stand in a high enough spot in a high place to shoot down and then you can choose a natural bokeh effect. The tilt shift time lapse mode in the Realme 8 series is 10 times faster than that of normal speed, so you can choose the right time to shoot according to the time lapse video's final time. Let's enjoy a Realme 8 series shot with a tilt shift time lapse video. Miniature London looks like a lot of fun. The features I mentioned so far are actually for shooting landscapes, but if you're into portrait photography, you won't be disappointed as we plenty some extra fun features just about portraits. Most smartphones take portrait photos applying a standard book effect to the background. As a trend-setting technology brand, we decided to add a special touch for, to portrait photography as well. First is our neon portrait feature. When taking portraits at night, lights in the background are really common. 
And in this case, we'll meet a series. It's a touch of dreamlike filter to your shots by emphasizing the bokeh spot in the background. Next is our dynamic bokeh filter. This filter works wonder when taking pictures with a street in the background because it adds some stripes to create a sense of speed. Finally, we have the AI color portrait, which is inspired by some movie shooting technologies. This filter will retain the colors of the human body while applying a black and white filter to the background, and the effect is amazing. Let's now have Paul and his friend demonstrate these three unique filters for us. Hi, I'm Jana. I'm enjoying my smartphone for taking lots of selfies and record everyday life. My friend Paul, he invited me today to try on the photography module 8 realm series. So I'm really looking to try that. <laughs> Let me refresh your idea of portrait photography on a smartphone with the new slick portrait mode on the Realme 8 Pro. Luckily, I've got my friend Anna here who's going to help us take some photos. I moved here six years ago with the purpose to become a model and here I am. <laughs> First, let's try the dynamic bokeh portrait. The dynamic bokeh portrait is perfect for shooting on the street. While the model can have some cool poses, you can shoot the whole body or half body to create a sense of contrast between dynamic and static. While the human subject in focus is sharp and clear, the way it deals with background is maverick. It feels like you're moving the camera swiftly while keeping Yana in focus, a sense of movement. The AI color portrait gives you a completely different experience. Based on the Realme 8 Pro's powerful AI technology to recognize a human subject in a photograph, this mode underlines your appearance by turning other parts of the image into black and white. When shooting an AI color portrait, please avoid wearing black, white and grey clothing. Wear clothing as bright and as colorful as possible. You can find some scenes with a colourful background and shoot the whole body to have more obvious effect of colour contrast. You'll be the only colour of the world! Finally, we present the Realme 8 Pro's Neon Portraits, tested at night scenes. In this mode, the algorithm will identify light sources in the bouquet and brighten them up. This gives me a romantic feeling beyond realism. The effect of Neon Portrait is to blur the light spots in the background. So in this mode, you can choose a scene with lots of light spots in the experience to maximize the effect. Then you will have a great nightscape photo with the model highlighted. Finally, we hope every young person will enjoy our new portrait filter. As you can see, we both love using this phone. Thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon. Thank you so much, Paul, for the cool portrait photos. I highly recommend you try such portrait features when you get your hands on your Mi A series. They're going to help you step up your photography game. And with this, that's actually all for today. Our 108 megapixel camera, starry mode, in sensor zoom, tilt shift photography and portrait filters will debut on your Mi 8 series very soon. 
as a star series of the Realme smartphone portfolio, our number series will focus on the camera experience in the future, committed to bringing the latest camera specs and features to our users. Stay tuned to the release of the Realme A series very soon. I hope our fans, media friends, and consumers will enjoy the most powerful performance of the Realme A series. Stay tuned and see you at the next Camera Innovation event.